It's about a mock draft o'clock. I'm doing my own mock draft here, seeing what I would do if I was Mickey Loomis to start with the 29th overall pick. I'm going to go with Brian Barisi out of Clemson. You know, get the interior of the defensive line going. You only got Prince Amelia at the moment. Uh, you kind of need a little bit more than that. So hitting on that pretty early, pretty prevalent. He's not necessarily a sack guy, but that's not usually what you look for in the interior of the defensive line. He had three sacks per year, which isn't too bad. But getting him, that's really going to bolster the interior of the defensive line and help get more pressure and not let those big runs happen like we had seen with like Tyler Algier and Cordero Patterson and others throughout the season last year. At round two, pick 40, I'm going with B.J. Ojulari. You know, you got Carl Granderson. You're, you moved on from Marcus Davenport. You still got Cam Jordan, but he's aging. I'm more of the guy to go get an LSU guy. I want to go get LSU players. I'm not like Mickey who only goes to get Ohio State guys. I'm going to go and go get a Tiger every once in a while. So getting B.J. Ojolari, he's the perfect fit right there. You know, go and get more edge pressure. That's what I like to do, bolster that up. Because you only got Carl Granderson. You only got Tano Passanio right now. And Peyton Turner, I don't know if that's going to work out. He's ever on the field. At the third round, I'm going to go give me a big body wide receiver. Someone that kind of reminds me of Marcus Colson. I'm going to go get A.T. Perry out of Wake Forest. He was there. He was the big body guy, contested catches. Another weapon that could be there for the red zone that would help score points whenever, if you're not going to be able to run it, let's say Alvin Kamara's not there, you'll be able to, you know, toss a fade up there. You would have another Michael Thomas, per se, and you could put Michael Thomas in the slot somewhere that you've seen him pretty prevalently throughout the years he's also on a Wake Forest team that was pretty offensively heavy and they scored a lot of points themselves so I feel like that would help out then going to get my guy Deuce Vaughn out of Kansas State every time I've turned on a Kansas State game he has burned up those highlight tapes I want a new running back you don't have to go get a Jameer Gibbs in the second round you don't have to go get a B. John Robinson if he falls to Atlanta if he's there I wouldn't mind going picking him but getting Deuce Vaughn in the fourth or fifth round, he's kind of moving up the boards, kind of moving up to fourth round. So if you can go get him right there, I think that's the perfect fit. For the fifth round, bolsting up that interior of the defensive line a little more with Moro Jamo out of Texas, another Longhorn. We've seen them go pick Texas Longhorns before, you know, like Kenny Vaccaro. I think that would work out as well. And then bolstered up the interior of the offensive line with Chandler Zavala out of NC State, you know. If you are to move on from Andrews Pete, which I anticipate in 2024, getting the guy right now in Chandler Zavala, he could be the next guy at the left guard. So you could see Trevor Penning, Zavala, Eric McCoy, Cesar Ruiz, and then Ryan Ramchick to fill out the offensive line. If that works out, I feel like that'd be pretty good. And then in the seventh round, Muhammad Diabate, I mean, a linebacker. You moved on from Caden Ellis. Maybe he's the guy that could be the depth piece for New Orleans. Feel like that could work out and then getting the seventh rounder last pick i'm going with jay ward another corner to work out you've got some other corners that you drafted in the last few drafts paulson adebo alante taylor you've got marshall Lattimore right now but getting another one just in case one of them goes down because we've seen them go down throughout the years or paulson adebo he's a little iffy in a sophomore slum we don't know if it's going to work out but getting, getting another depth piece there is going to work out and overall i think out of all of our four I think mine's the best.